kind of creepy back here anyway because it's so thick. Well, Marty, what do you think? Is this a, a good spot to pan for gold or not? Water's moving way too fast. Look at that. Normally when it's what, later in the year, the water's not nearly as high, nor is it moving like this, but. But we got a lot of rain so far this spring. If we were to do any kind of panning for gold today in this stream, I'm thinking we might drown. So, not, not a good idea. We're gonna have to find a different spot. Bummer. I thought this was gonna be the one. See if you look here, it looks like a quartz vein. And normally you find gold where there's quartz veins. So that's why we thought this would be the ideal location to do panning. But as, as I said before, that water's moving way too fast. You get carried away in an instant if you went in. It's a beautiful spot though. Probably a great place to do some trout fishing as well, but I'm not a trout fisherman, so I can't really speak to that. As you saw when we were coming in here, I mean, we're way, way back in here. So this is like really just the perfect place to get away from people, especially during these times where we're trying to keep social distancing and all that. One thing right now, if you're gonna go out in the woods, you better have some sort of bug spray on because mosquitoes are nasty along with the gnats. Those little gnats can be just as bad as the mosquitoes. They're tiny and they're just like, I swear their bites are itchier than a mosquito bite can be. You get like these huge welts from them. Not to mention the ticks. As I mentioned previously in other videos, this year we're probably going to see a bumper crop of ticks and already we have seen quite a few just on our dogs from being just in our yard so you imagine how many ticks are hanging out here in the woods just waiting waiting to grab a hold of you nasty critters here's a really cool flower i've never seen before out in the woods looks just like a star i wonder what that's called if anybody knows let me know in the comments section below of course there's a little ant crawling on it I don't know what that is. I just don't know what the flower's called. Oh, there's Marty. He's probably getting bitten up like crazy over there. Since we're on plant identification, I'm thinking this here, and I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna point to it. I'm thinking this might be poison oak. As they always say, leaves of three beware, and it has a similar shape as the oak tree, which happens to be right in front of us there. And I guess, supposedly, you find what poison oak oftentimes by oak trees, so I don't know. I'm, I'm calling it poison oak. If somebody else knows differently, let me know in the comments section below. I'm sure somebody smart is going to say, well, there's one way you could find out, but I know better. I'm not touching it. I'm not going to be the experiment, so I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Here's something really nasty that if you ever see this in your yard, you definitely want to take measures to prevent these caterpillars from spreading. And so what you're supposed to do is cut this off here being careful not to drop any of the caterpillars and then burn it because these are tent caterpillars and they destroy they destroy the trees and any other type of vegetation that they build these tents on Ugh, that is just nasty 
You see a lot of them along like the Mississippi in the Driftless region. I saw a lot of them down there. But you find them up here in the North Woods too. Hey, look at that. There's a blue jay just sitting right in the middle of the path there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There he is. Just hanging out. Doesn't know I'm here. if he's hurt because look at how close I am and he's now first moving he might have gotten hurt might not be able to fly oh there he went guess that blows that theory he can fly just fine Marty's relaxing over there, just chilling out here in nature. Okay, so that's a deer tick, folks. That's something you don't want to bite you because that'll carry Lyme's disease. If Ugh. all right, fun times over. I love nature, but I certainly don't love ticks. So I think it's time we head on out because. I really, really don't want to get bit by one of them nasty things. When we get back to the car, I'm going to have to do a full tick check. Because now I'm all creeped out by the tick. Ugh. Should have known better than to get out in the woods with the tick. Marty's defense against the ticks. He's wearing the towel over his head. I put on the deep before we walked out here, so I'm not quite as concerned, but he didn't. And uh, so he had a tick on him. And where there's one, there's more. When it comes to them nasty things, I am not a fan. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, it's just a tick. Well, let me tell you, deer ticks, those are things you don't want to fool around with. And Lyme's disease is pretty prevalent up in this area just because of all the deer ticks that we have. And so I don't need to have Lyme's disease added to my list of ailments, you know, along with old age and everything else. So, Normally, tick season only lasts, I mean, like the worst of it is about, you know, May, June, and then by July it usually tapers off a bit because of the heat, and so normally I wouldn't be so freaky about it, but we're, like I said, just getting warmer weather now, and so the ticks are just starting to really hit out. And, yeah, well, I'll quit babbling on about ticks. If you look out here, you can see these flowers. I think they're called Jack in the Pulpit, and they're protected here in Wisconsin. But if I could share smell-o-vision with you, they're very fragrant. You can smell them, like, they kind of remind me of what? Marty said a skunk. I don't think it smells like a skunk. I think it Actually, smells- Actually, it reminds me of, do you remember the renews at air pressure? Yeah. It smells just like your bathroom after you take a crap and spray that stuff around. I hate the smell of it. <laughs> well, to me, it reminds me of more like an old lady's perfume from back in the day, like Avon or Estee Lauder. But it's really, really fragrant out here in the woods, and it's probably coming from them. 
close-up of what the jack and the pulpits look like. These look a little wilted, like they're at the end of their life cycle. But I didn't want to walk up close to the other ones because, of course, the ticks. When you're out in the woods, you really want to be mindful during tick season or the height of really bad tick season. Any tall, grassy areas, anything that's with brushy, short brushy areas because that's where the ticks like to hang out waiting for their next victim so that's why I'm trying to stay right in the middle of the path to avoid catching any hitchhikers of course they could drop out of the trees as well so that's why you'll notice I've been wearing my hat more frequently not only because you know it's a cool hat to sightseeing Sally on it but for protection. I had one time years ago, and this was a wood tick, so it wasn't like anything as dangerous as a deer tick as far as carrying diseases go, but I had a wood tick crawl up, and I don't know if it just happened to land up on my head and burrow in, or if it was because I was walking around and then it crawled up and nested there, but basically it burrowed in and that thing it hurt. Hurt like heck not to mention it and it's creepy to have one of them things embedded in your scalp. So a little paranoid about having a deer tick crawl in and embed in my scalp because they're so tiny that you're really not going to catch it if, if it does. And that's why so many people end up getting Lyme's disease it's because the deer ticks are so small that you don't see them necessarily embedded in your skin and you end up getting the disease. Just a little FYI on ticks. And now that we've totally exhausted that topic, I think it's time we head on over to another area to scope out and see if we can find a place to pan. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Um, you better get that out of the car. It's official. Marty is infested with ticks. Ah! I better scope myself out because who knows, I could have some on myself too. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. Well, I passed the tick check. I had zero. Marty had like nine of them. I don't know what the difference was other than I had read somewhere and I don't know if this is true or not that coconut oil is a tick repellent and I use coconut oil every day on my skin so I don't know is that the reason or is it because I sprayed myself with DEET right before we walked in there? Who knows? Something to test out though in the future.